Hey, what's up YouTube? Um, just want to put a quick vid up as a uh, update. I'm going to try not to say um a bunch of times since uh, I got a bunch of negative comments about this. Uh, just picked the car up from uh, UCS. Got a bunch of work done. As you can see, I got a good amount of work done. Um, the work was a lot cheaper than it should have been. I, I got away with using some uh, used parts and stuff. So uh, this is what we got. I'm just going to run down the list here. We got some uh, Buddy Club 280 cams, O2 housing downpipe and test pipe, JDM map sensor, and GM 3 port, point, port solenoid. Uh, we got a huge FMI CM. I don't know if you guys can see that, how thick that thing is in there. Look at that. There we go. Now that is that is like crazy big compared to the uh, stock Evo. I mean, it just really fills up the uh, front bumper right there with intercooler. So uh, I'm really excited about that. Um, we got a um, new downpipe, uh, lower intercooler pipe. I got a competition stage two clutch. Um, I really wanted to go with a, a twin disc, but I plan on building the motor and the training in the winter, so I'll go with the twin disc then. Um, got a turbo timer put in. Everybody, you know, turbo timers get a lot of uh, mixed stuff. Uh, I like them. So, uh, I had one put in just for my peace of mind. Uh, then we got some gauges put in. Also got some 1050cc injectors. Um, the car doesn't look much different. Um, I did throw a system in here. I did do an install video on the system, but I accidentally deleted it. Sorry, guys. Um, I know what you guys are going to say. Oh, those look like some old-ass MTX subwoofers. Well, yeah, they are, but I picked up the Rockford Amp the 10 inch subwoofers and a Pioneer head unit for less than $100 off of Craigslist. Um, I really wasn't looking for a crazy system, you know, I've, I've, I used to compete in sound competitions, JL Audio, Cove, DD, all that stuff. Uh, I just wasn't looking for it in this car, I wasn't. Um, here's the interior, oh god. Um, there's the gauges, we got AM Digital Boost, AM Wideband, and AM oil pressure. I did opt to keep the stock gauges because I like the oil temperature gauge and the uh, voltmeter. I plan on upgrading these shortly here. Um, I really don't like having, I like having my wideband and my boost right there, you know, my peripheral vision so I can see if things are getting out of check. There is the Gretti turbo timer. Um, I had to take it off because uh, I had some double sided tape and I had to get to the switch in the back to reset it to set it up the way I wanted it. Um, I'll, uh, I'll put a how to video up on there because I noticed on the forums people have a lot of trouble with this this version. Um, like I said, I got a lot of work done for a little over four grand. Um, we're shooting for 400 horsepower. Unfortunately, the car could not be tuned yet. Um, reason being is it has a brand new clutch in it. And the clutch needs to be broken in before we really start putting power to it. Um, I've got about 37 miles on it, and I, you know, have about 400 more to go uh, to safely break the clutch in because I do not want to drop $1,200 on another clutch. So, uh, to make a long story short, the car will be tuned next week. Um, a guy that Greg knows over at UCS will be doing the uh, tune. Um, somebody he knows, so uh, apparently does really good work. Again, uh, just let me know what you guys think. Any questions? I promise uh, as soon as the car gets tuned, I will get it out on the road. Let you guys hear it, see it, um, do some acceleration pulls. I am going to try my hardest to get to the, the diner session. Um, you know, of course, work comes first, so got to be able to pay for this sucker. All right, guys. Well, um, you know, leave your uh, comments below and uh, any questions let me know and I'll try to answer them best I can. Take it easy. Have a good night.